I'm a little late. The seventh today. It's been a week since New Year's. So, merry belated Christmas to everyone. Um, I had to wait for a couple things to come in and stuff, and I'm still waiting for one more thing, but, eh, I gotta get this video done and over with. So, um, yeah, Christmas haul, let's get it done, because I ain't got any more background music to use, and I don't want to edit this, because I don't think I have two for once. So, we're starting off good this year, so... I guess we can start with the thing that's behind me, and this was in my last, like, diecast review. It's like the LED thing on Bob with the track, so circuit so that was pretty cool. We're gonna put it up on, like, the wall, like, right here. Uh, I think that's all, like, the things that are showing right now, I think, right? Yeah, because there's things that are gonna go on these back walls right here. Back wall walls. The back walls. There. There's something going there. So... We'll start with that. There's three of these. So there's the 1935 Monaco poster. I don't know if this is the actual one, if this is like a custom one, but it's still pretty cool. I like them a lot. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I'll just put this down here for now. Okay. We got 36. Also very nice. I have to go like this to show it off. So that's great. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. And then, you guessed it, 37. Probably my favorite one. It's a Ferrari in the front. Yeah, it's a Ferrari. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ferrari. I hate when you're like, you're gonna sneeze and stuff, but you're not. Uh, yeah, so the next few things are die cast and stuff, but they were bought at the local fair. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what cars these are. The Jeff Gordon, number 24, uh, 187, DuPont 2008 car, I think it is. It's an 08 or 07. It should tell me somewhere, shouldn't it? I should have, I should have checked this before, actually. 2010, actually. Wow, I'm way off. That's a COT. Why do I think that was not a COT? I'm moving my truck out as well, so I look at the camera more. Uh, that's a bit weird. Didn't didn't realize that. We got the uh, Porsche. I think this is the 2019, maybe. Maybe it's a 2020 car. I think it's a 2020 Porsche Gen 2 uh, Formula V car. Formula V. Formula E car. Uh, I think Ver Verline races in the Porsche team and someone else. I follow Formula E a bit. Not much. I got this at like... The Canadian Tire store. Don't know who you guys know what that is. The case in the bottom is broken, so. Yeah. But the Formula E cars are sick. I, I actually, I really like these. And it's a great racing series, just the cars sound terrible, so. Yeah. It's nothing we're gonna change. Alright, so the 164s. Again, I bought these all at the fair, at my local fair. They had a NASCAR day and I was, I was into it. So, I guess it will go by year, and by year we'll go by number, okay? So, the Jimmy Johnson, number 59, Kingsford, um, match light, um, Bush car, I guess, because Bush was the spot, Bush series, I guess, then, not Xfinity, you could say Xfinity, but it's really Bush series, um, I don't know, I don't remember if this is the exact, I don't know if this is the car that he crashed in, back in the Watkins Glen, where you're like, we all knew his name then, um, but it's still pretty sick, I love these old Xfinity and stuff cars, so, this will go with the oldies collection, I call it. Now we got a lot of 2012s. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make sure, okay, so it's this one first. Uh, first, Denny Hamlin, 2010, or 2012, sorry, these are all 2012s. Uh, Toyota Camry FedEx Group car. So sick, have a Hamlin now. Um, before this, I had like the uh, PTC mold 2014 Hamlins, which were my oldest ones, so. Definitely needed a refresher that was older because after this, the next cleanest car is my 2016 FedEx Office. So, big, big gain on that, I would say. Um, up next, the Kyle Busch Interstate Batteries car. Kind of fitting I got this since they're going to be like the only sponsor in 2022. Uh, 2023, sorry, my bad. 2022 is the final year of M&M's. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know how I've always felt about this car. It, it was probably like my least favorite on the uh, Gen 6 car, but it doesn't even look that bad with the uh, Gen 5. Except for this little wind, the little window piece here, little plastic piece, it's like bent up. You'll see it when I do the review on this car. It's like 
crooked and stuff. It's weird. I didn't. I don't like that. We got the uh, Jeff Byrne Caterpillar number thirty one. Obviously, uh, I think they also made the B B and T car. I think, or maybe the Wheaties car in twenty twelve as well. I don't know. Uh, I have Jeff's twenty thirteen Caterpillar, but um, yeah. Again, always nice. I I love these Gen five cars, like especially just the CO T twenty ten to twenty twelve. Like, that was the year I started watching NASCAR, and I'm surprised how many cars I don't have for that era. But and now I do. Um, 39 Ryan Newman, Stuart Haas Racing, uh, U.S. Army car. I think this is the only Ryan Newman there for, like, the 39 car. What the heck is going on out there? Uh, so, yeah, definitely. I, I always wanted the 39 car. Also, I want, like, the 29 of Tony, or Tony. Of Kevin Harvick. There we go. That, that took way too long to figure that out. Um, they didn't have a 29 there, I don't think so. That was disappointing, but uh, yeah, we got that one instead. Also, these are all like 10 bucks. Every car here is 10 bucks, except for the next one. Carl Edwards 2012 Aflac car. It's a great car, but they sold it for 20 bucks. It's basically a $5 profit now. It could have been 15. But at least they knew what they were doing. Also, the case on this thing. Like the 2012 cases, like they all kind of look special in their own way. Except for the Joe Gibb ones. The Joe Gibb ones look like trash. This one's... I guess it's, they're all gold series, aren't they? Yeah. I love the green on this one. The Newman has like kind of like the blue on the bottom. For Stuart Haas. And then RCO's got like the checkered flags. So I love how they customize the boxes a little bit. Like the colors for 2021 is good. But like that's like a full on customization per team. So that is sick. I think this was 25 years of Roush. Yeah. 25 winning years. It kind of stopped after like 2014 for Roush for winning. But yeah, we have this one. Um, I guess you call it Roush for Mike Kislowski racing now. RKF or RFK? I think it's RFK. Uh, so that's it for 2012s. Um, what do we have next? Next we have the 2016s. And there's a lot of 2016s as well. Starting off with the banger, the Jamie Mack, Mack Tonight throwback. I mean, it's just. I think I have the gold, like the full gold of Bill Elliott number 94. I think he ran it in 98, uh, Bill. And I don't have, it doesn't have like gold. Like it, has, it doesn't have the McTonight skin. It just, it's the gold with McTonight on the side. So yeah, but that'd be sick if I had the uh, standard Bill car. Cause I mean, this car just looks so cool. It looks, I love it so much. This, I have to put it like this so the LED doesn't get in the way. I turned it on, I don't know why I did, but. Yeah, you can kind of see actually the reflection of my glasses. You can kind of see it right here. Anyways, uh, up next, Danica Patrick Nature's Bakery car. Um, when I went to Marvel's Choice back in 2016, I think it was, um, I had a, they didn't have this. I was trying to look for this and they didn't have it. Um, they had the 26, they both had two 2016. They had the Mobile One and the Tax Sack. I bought the mobile one and I wish I bought the tax act, but I didn't. So big mistake. But um yeah, I, I really like this paint scheme actually. I really did. Uh, I had her twenty seventeen fake fantasy, nature's bakery car basically. Um but yeah, I'm glad we actually have a car that ran for Dan Kirkpatrick. The Ryan Blaney Motorcraft throwback. Uh it was just the Blaney twenty sixteen throw uh, rookie car, so I wanted to get that. And the silver rims on this thing look absolutely stunning like that's it. i love those of course dave pierce throwback it's almost always a wood brothers throwback on the wood brother cars um but yeah this one oof, i almost didn't buy this one the david reagan number 23 dr pepper bk bankrupt racing of course uh toyota camry this thing is for if you had this i think everyone knows i don't know i don't really get why so many people were like so amped up about this um I have the Reagan 2016 throwback. Uh, it's it's seen better days. This is one of the first years I had on the channel. I think I deleted it though. Maybe I didn't. Actually, maybe it's still up. I don't know. But this car, I need to get some Sharpie on this bottom piece. But it's like, it's beat up. So I'm glad I have another 23 pet Dr. Pepper because did, did Bubba run a Dr. Pepper car? I know he was sponsored by them, but I don't remember. Maybe he did. I don't know, but I don't think we're getting the Dr. Pepper car anyways. So, glad I got that. Um, I think it always runs with 23. I also have the Sunfrog and the Corey LaJoy Dr. Pepper throwback. Those are the other 23 cars I have. And, of course, the 2311 
show card. Um, and I think this is the, oh, it's not the final thing. It's the final 164. Uh, the Jimmy Johnson 2017, just standard Lowe's car. Basically the last win, you can even say. Um, yeah, I really like this car as well. I don't know why, but I, it, I just like it. Except for the fact that it's like, the 48's really centered this way at the front. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. I love this car so much. Um, in my offense, it's better than the 2016 slash 15 car, because that was the exact same car. No, I don't have it here. Okay, it's in the safe over here. So, that's the miniature stuff, I guess. Now we get to the two 124s I have, and I think that's it for the haul. And then I have... I have the Oyo Sports Indy 500-like track thing. I don't know. Some people may have seen it. If you know what I'm talking about, it's just the Indianapolis Motor Speedway front stretch kind of with Oyo pieces, I think. Or it's the security guard that Oreo made because it, that's what it said in the title, but I go off of the image. So. No. Yeah, so the, I didn't even show you what this... A cur I'm sorry, this is a very cursed car. But it, it looks so good, I will be honest. It's the, um, they made this back in 2008. So this is just the Dale Senior winning 1998 car on the COT scale from, I'm guessing this is 2008, right? What year would this have been? Yeah, oh wait, okay. Yeah, so 20 year anniversary, I think this would have been? No, yeah, 10, 20 year. No, cause he won in 98, so that'd be 10 years, sorry. I won an 88 for some reason. I was way off. Also, it comes in one of these things. I hate these top pieces, especially with the COT back wing. I mean, that's just... We'll do a review on this later as well. But, I mean, that's just... That's probably one of my favorite 124s I have owned. Uh, yeah. The window flap's a bit wonky, actually. Sometimes they won't go down. But, yeah. I also have to go like... <clears throat> I gotta find an easier way to put down the hood and stuff. Like, I always put like a little, a little pencil here. I hate doing this because I feel like it just ruins the car, but just get a little pencil. Bingo. Wow, that goes, I forgot they didn't have the spring things back in 08 when they made these die cast. I mean, they, I love when they did this. They don't do this anymore with the cars. Things like, oh yeah, this is, this reminds me of like Denny Hamlin at Watkins Glen in, 2016, I think it was. Maybe 2015. I don't know. Anyways, sick car though to have. I love that. It's already on the. I already have a place for it on the uh, shelf. A car I don't have on for the shelf that I just got today. The Jimmy Johnson Last Ride. I don't think this is the race version. I believe this is just the standard scheme. Um, it says Alley Final Ride, but it doesn't say race version. So I'm assuming this is just the standard version. Uh, but if it is the race version, and I don't even, even if it isn't, we have the haul now. Uh, I already have this card, so our, I think I've already reviewed it as well. Oh, I put the stand thing in backwards. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, so we have, like, kind of like the duo now. So that's, that's sick. Yeah, this card will be reviewed sometime later. Um, it's quite large. I don't have a spot for it on my shelf, though, so that's an issue. But, uh... Yes, that is it for the haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you never miss another video. A lot of reviews coming. Uh, Any card review is going to slow down a bit because I want to try and, like, even them out a bit. Or just send them all on the Andy cards and do the NASCARs because the Raw Chastain thing did really well. That video. I think it was, like, 13 views in the first, like, three hours. It's slowing down now, but, like, that's, that's pretty good entries. Entries, starting hours. Whatever. Hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.